This week on Horns and Hooks TV, pro staffers Amy Spoon and Brady Palmer will be taking Brady's son on his first ever blacktail hunt. After that, we're going to chase along with another kid, Jace, in Western Washington, Grace Harbor County, with a couple of great kids. To complement our 5 to 20 power scope, Huskama Optics is proud to introduce its new smaller and lightweight 3 to 12 power scope. From varmint hunting and lightweight backpacking to heavier calibers for the deadliest game, this scope is built for an even wider variety of applications. With all the high quality lens coating and durability you've come to expect from a Huskama scope, topped with turrets customized to fit your ballistic profile. The new 3 to 12 from Huskama Optics, the only patented windage enabled yardage turrets on the market. It doesn't matter what sort of adventure you're after, whether it's big game deep in the backcountry, a day of fishing out on the water, or an overnight in the great outdoors. At Sportsman's Warehouse, we've got the gear in here for what you need out there. Gear up for your adventure at one of over 45 locations or shop online. Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. We're all seeking adventure, and there's no better place to find it than Grays Harbor County. From our South Beach to our North Coast and the Quinault Rainforest, Grays Harbor County, always changing, always unforgettable. Visit our website or call us for your next getaway. Horns and Hooks TV is brought to you by Grays Harbor Tourism. Come visit Grays Harbor, where unforgettable outdoor adventures await. Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Visit a Sportsman's Warehouse near you today. Brought to you in part by Huskama Long Range Optics. If you're not the lead dog, the view never changes. And Horns and Hooks Magazine. Subscribe today at hornsandhooks.com, where outdoor adventures await 24 hours a day. Today's opening day. Going after big bucks. Yep. How big a buck do you want to shoot? Yep. Oh, like that. What if it's just like this? That works too. That works too. All right, let's get out of here. Having this day to uh, get bred up in the morning, I don't know if he slept or not, but I remember as a young kid being so excited. His clothes were laid out, and we got up in the morning and started getting ready, and. It, it brought back memories. Even though it was super early, I remember being excited as soon as my parents would wake me up and we were headed out for the day. It was really cool to see Brett's face when we finally woke him up on opening morning and it, his chance to go out there. He, he had a smile that I kind of remember. Dad, where are we going to sit up there? It meant a lot to be able to spend some time in the woods with Brett. So Brett is 10 years old. He passed his hunter safety. He's been out with me, but this hunt is about him. He's ready to go out and shoot himself a deer. That evening, we decided to go to out to the farm, out to a different spot. We're about to go out for an evening hunt. This morning, we saw a lot of does, but the buck comes out, we're having back straps for dinner. Looking for some big deer. I figured it might be some long shots, and I decided to take my rifle. It was had the bipod on it. It's not light. So we got out of the truck. Brett wanted to carry the rifle.
So Brett is 10 years old. He's been out with me, riding around in the truck, tromping through the brush. So we went out and we were set up in this area that I'd been seeing bucks come out in. You know, we probably should have stayed there longer, but Brett was fidgety and we decided to move. Well, as we moved, we moved around this timber stand and I spotted this little buck out there. There was a buck and a doe. We started trying to sneak up on these deer and get him a rest and it's difficult. It's difficult getting a small 10 year old a rest and a shot at a deer. No kid that size should be shooting without a rest. So whether it was shooting sticks or bipod, that was things that we thought about, we had practiced on. I just hope that our practice paid off. After bumping these deer a couple times, the spike finally stayed out in the open long enough for Brett to get on it. And I got Brett down on the bipod. He's aiming at it. I tell him, if you're comfortable, take the shot. And I sat there and watched the deer and was going back and forth between him and the deer. And it felt like forever. Will Brett connect with his first black tail buck? Stick around. The all new broadband limb savers are the most effective limb savers ever created. They install in seconds and come in a variety of custom colors. Also new from Limb Saver is the AWS Modular Stabilizer. Customize and tune your bow by adding or subtracting nodes and adjusting the sliding precision weight. When you need maximum performance, accuracy, and reliability, there's only one choice Limb Saver. Legendary performance. So we're just here for hooks, right? Welcome to this week's Hooked on Gear. We're in our local sportsman's warehouse here with sales associate JR, who's going to give us a little rundown on some backpacks here. What do you got for us, buddy? All right, so we've got a Badlands pack. This is the Ultra Day pack. The one nice part about this is you've got room for a coat, because let's face it, we all put a coat on, it gets hot, and you want to take it off and pack it somewhere else. The cool part about it is this piece right here. That is really nice. I have a bigger Badlands pack. Do you? This is my favorite feature of that pack. Saves you from sweating, yes. save, it keeps you nice and cool. That has been really innovative with some of the rubbing designs mm -hmm. and their, their attachments and everything. This is a really nice brand. So. Absolutely. Every everything they make, uh, whether it's a you know a rangefinder case, a bow case, anything, you can pretty much attach it to any of their packs, which is really, really nice. So there's these women's packs out there? If you're a woman, you want to look for a woman's pack. Right. Badlands would be the way to go. They okay. seem to have more of a variety of women's packs. They they match almost pack for pack women and men 
uh, when it comes to the smaller day pack. As you can see, your local Sportsman's Warehouse has a huge selection of packs. Get on down and check one out today. Welcome back to Horns and Hooks TV. Pro staffer Brady Palmer has his son Brett chasing his first blacktail buck. After bumping these deer a couple times, the spike finally stayed out in the open long enough for Brett to get on it. I tell him if you're comfortable, take the shot. After seeing Brett's deer drop, I got really excited and I had a hard time not dropping the camera myself. It was a great shot. After that, the celebration was on and running over there and giving high fives and, and hugs. So I've shot some pretty good deer in my life, but when Brett dropped that spike, it was as good as any trophy I've ever shot. All of us dads out there know the importance of sharing on the tradition, taking our kids hunting. That experience right there, it was great. He didn't even move, didn't even know what hit him. Is that good or bad? That's good. Good job. <laughs> Look at that. That was going to be some good eating right there. Isn't it? <laughs> Brett doing his part to help fill the freezer. Yeah, yeah. Awesome or what? Huh? Yeah. Good shot. So when we walked up on that deer, there was hugs and handshakes and high fives, and we were all excited. And we walked up to the deer, and I asked Brett, "Where'd you hit it at? Where were you aiming?" He said, "Right in the heart." I think so. Right in the heart. <laughs> right in the heart. Right in the heart. Right in the heart. I'm pretty sure we were more excited than Brett. Brett's main concern was. Let's let's take a bunch of pictures so he can show his friends at school. That's sweet. Well, Brett just killed his first blacktail, shooting my gun, husking the scope. I don't know. I didn't think we were gonna catch up to him. We jumped him a couple times before we caught him, but uh, that's awesome. I don't even know what to say. What do you think, bud? Just awesome. Just awesome. You ready to eat some back straps? Mhm. Mm How do you want to cook them? Barbecue or fried? Oh, uh, barbecue. Barbecued. And then. And then fry it, all right. Awesome. Well, we gotta go get to gutting this thing out and go hang him up and skin him. You gonna help me do that? Yeah. Brody's right. soon to follow in his footsteps and I can't wait for the day that I get to take him out for his first year. This was a life-changing event for Brett. I hope he's hooked for the rest of his life. I think I got a hunting partner forever. My boys, Brett and Brody, they grew up on venison and elk meat. This year, Brett getting to take down his own deer, help us process it, help us package it up. Now, every time that we sit down and, and eat deer, he wants to know, is, is this mine or, or is this yours? And He enjoys when we have deer meat for dinner and we get it out and he's, he's pumped that it's his deer. Growing up in Grays Harbor, I got to spend a lot of time with my mom and dad hunting and fishing, which was tons of fun. Hanging your own blacktail trophy on the wall is one of the biggest challenges there is as far as I'm concerned in hunting. Washington and Oregon are split in half by the Cascade Mountain Range. The east side is high desert with mule deer and whitetails, while the western side of the Cascades is a temperate rainforest filled with blacktails. Now these blacktails are a unique subspecies of deer. They're not very common throughout the west. We live in an amazing place in western Washington Grace Harbor County, where beauty and wonder surround. But when you're in the Northwest, everyone knows that blacktails have to be the most difficult species to harvest. 110 inches makes book for Western blacktail. Most people trying to get their grand slam, the last deer they're trying to get is a blacktail, especially a Western blacktail. This area we hunt around here, 
It's thick. It's brushy. They're tough to spot. You're facing the weather. Extremely thick underbrush. Stay tuned, we got another great youth blacktail adventure after the break. Horns and Hooks TV is brought to you by Grays Harbor Tourism. Come visit Grays Harbor, where unforgettable outdoor adventures await. Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Visit a Sportsman's Warehouse near you today. Brought to you in part by Huskamaw Long Range Optics. If you're not the lead dog, the view never changes. Youth Outdoors Unlimited. Help a disadvantaged youth experience the outdoors by becoming a sponsor member and get a free subscription to Horns and Hooks magazine. North Fork Customs, quality rods built one at a time. For all your boating and personal watercraft needs, visit the great folks at U.S. Marine Sales and Service. Your number one Northwest Yamaha dealer. Come see our selection of power boats, jet skis, outboard engines, and more. With a fully certified service department, courteous staff, and impressive selection of parts and accessories. Family owned and operated for over 20 years. Welcome back to Horns and Hooks TV. All right, second to last day of the season. Bryson's got a deer already. Brett's got a deer already. Jace is the shooter tonight. We're going to take Jace up and uh, up to where Brett shot his deer, and hopefully there's a couple bucks still hanging around. If we see one, what's going to happen? I'm going to shoot it right behind the shoulder there, Jack. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Jace's parents called us up. They're really good friends of ours, and Jace is their youngest. Jace is a pretty excitable kid. I'm a little buck. Oh, there's Jace over there. Oh. I brought my two boys, me and Amy. Jace and his family, we all went out hunting. Getting all those boys together to be able to experience that was amazing. Guys, there's a salmon or something. Like a fish. There's like a fish in there. This one under. Oh, what is that? That's a salmon. It's a salmon. There's salmon right there. There's two of them. Big one? There's a big one and a small one. Come here. It wasn't too long into their hunt, and they spotted their first buck. I knew I saw something out of place. His shoulder's cramped. His shoulder's cramped. I saw his shoulder like... There, in the trees. You see him? Oh yeah, he's, he's down. This morning we were out hunting and we didn't see anything out there. So then my mom texts Amy and said, hey, can we uh, go out to the farm and go deer hunting tonight and have some fish tacos f for dinner? We get out here, we talk, we get ready, and then we go out, walk about 30 feet, and then, and then uh, 
my dad spots three deer. Then he sees this this buck right here. Then I I we sat there for about five seven minutes. I couldn't get on it, couldn't get set, and then I'm like, oh. So I just get up on those sticks, and I just sit there, and I just go, boom. And then I see the shoulder go like this, and then we don't see anything. So then we see the deer laying over there. Jace made a great shot on that deer. It didn't go far. Oh, that's a good buck. Look at him. He got eye guards. Right on, Jace. When he turned around after that deer was down and you could see the smile on his face, it was priceless, something that I'll remember for a long time. And all those smiles, you can't beat them. This is the day I got the, my first deer last year. Good job, buddy. What do you think about that? Awesome. Yeah. Oh, it was growing a little eye guard. Yeah. Look at the top. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Almost a two point over there. Yep. Oh, that's beautiful. Holy moly, it's green. I didn't know how big it was until then I saw the horns. Hey, you know how I was telling you an inch? Uh-uh. It's about six. And another point. Isn't that cool? It goes like, yeah. Yeah. And he's dinner tonight. Those tender lines, it's dinner at Amy's. Oh, man, and I'm man. serious about this. Are they having dinner with us? Yep. So when it was all said and done and we're all standing around and it came time to start processing this deer, it made me smile watching Jace just want to jump in there and get his hands dirty. He was ready to get there and do his part. It reminded me it was when I was a kid. I was always that kid fishing with my dad as he was catching fish. I was the one getting the knife out and cleaning them up, getting them ready to go. So it was really good to see Jace ready to get in there and get that thing processed. Jace shot that deer luckily with enough time that we got to take our time, field dressing it, teaching all the kids around us the proper way to do it, the clean way to do it, the respect for the animal. Everything about it was a learning experience for all those kids that were with us that day. Hunting with these kids this year was awesome. It wasn't Jace's first year, it was his second, but it was Brett's first and it was a first for me getting to be a part of somebody else's first deer, which brought back a bunch of memories of me as a kid with all the firsts that I experienced with my parents and it couldn't have made me happier. Come on, boys. Getting to see the smile on those kids' faces and them getting to see how everything works actually from the field, getting it, processing it, and then we sit down as a family and eat it. It's an experience you can't get on a video game and it's something you can't buy in a restaurant. We got three deer in the freezer so far, so still got a cow elk tag, bull elk tag. It's a throw, throw, throw. What? Hey, I wanna go first. Jerk. Those long blonde hairs in my hair. Will Brett be mad if I say that's an that's an experience you can't get on your iPod and you can't buy in a restaurant? It's gonna be mad if I call out iPad pod. <laughs> that's something you can't get in a restaurant. This week on Horns and Hooks TV, pro staffers Amy Spoon and Brady Palmer will be taking a couple kids out on their first blacktail hunts. Because it's not the kids' first blacktail hunt, though. So what do you say? Welcome back to Horns and Hooks TV. Pro staffer Brady Palmer has his son Brett out on the hunt for a big black tail buck. It's not big, sorry. I had to work to actually keep it on and, and get their reaction too, but oh, you cut the butt out. <laughs> cut the butt out. <laughs> this week on Horns and Hooks TV, pro staffers Amy Spoon and Brady Palm Brady. It's brushy. It rains all the time. And it's just hard to get. That was stupid. Excited to see what was the next thing that was gonna get pulled out of the cavity. Um, there was an anatomy class there. Was that the right word? <laughs> yeah. Here, second last day season. Woo nice spike. Game day, bucket go, boom! 